So you're starting a new clinical rotation and you're just tired of using question banks and books that you just can't commit to. In today's video and episode, you'll see, we'll talk about how you can use Picmonic to help you on your clinical rotations. Let's get to it. All right, guys, welcome to the MD Journey, a channel completely dedicated to helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. My name is Lakshman, an internal medicine physician and resident in training. And here on the MD Journey, the TM Day show, I talk about studying tips as well as things for your clinical rotation. So if you're new here and you're watching this on YouTube, definitely consider hitting the like and subscribe button. Today we're going to continue this Picmonic series that we've been doing here on this channel to explain basically how you would use the resource at the different phases. So we talked about videos on how to do it if you're a first or second year med student, how to use it if you're studying for step one. And today we are going to talk about how to use it for your clinical rotations. Now I know in my years of working with medical students, one of the biggest issues that come with any clinical rotation is what resource should I use? And then even when students find one that they like, it's really hard to stick to it because most of the common resources are either a reading material or a form of question bank. And even each of them are not really motivating to get started. And so in today's video, I wanna talk about how you potentially use Picmonic on your clinical rotations. Now keep in mind that whenever I'm and reviewing or sharing a resource for you guys here on this channel, there's three things that come to my mind before I share with you. One, it has to be easy to use, otherwise there's no point. Two, it has to have all the necessary high yield information. And three, it has to have a very nice structured way of quizzing you. So let's talk about how Picmonic can potentially do all three of those for you on your rotation. So first let's talk about whether or not Picmonic does a good enough job of being high yield for you on your clinical rotations. Now one of my favorite things about Picmonic whenever I share it is that they do a really good job of segmenting out their content library. So if you're somebody who's about to start their OP guide rotation, you can go in their dashboard and you guys can see I'm just giving you an inside look. You go into browse and then you'll be able to go ahead and see all of the different you know options and categories that are in Picmonic. And one of them is USMLE step two, which is perfectly kind of correlated with your clinical rotations. So then you can go into a rotation you're about to start. So let's say you're in your OB-GYN rotation, you can click learn. And then depending on which one you're at, you can choose a topic that may be relevant to the rotation you're on. So maybe you're on labor and delivery, so it'd be important for you to go ahead and check out the obstetrics. And then depending on what rotation you're on, you can go ahead and find the topics that'd be most relevant to you. So if you're on labor and delivery, you can find stuff about prenatal care and signs of pregnancy and watch these videos before your rotations. And as you guys can see, if you look through the variety of rotations that they do have covered, things like internal medicine have 852 picmonics. So basically, definitely they do have the topics that you need to do well on your shelf exam here in their videos. So now that we can see that Picmonic definitely does a good enough job of having the topics that you need for your rotation, the second part is, is it easy enough to use? And the answer is absolutely, because once you can find the topics or the category you wanna learn, so let's say you're on your IM rotation, you can go ahead and take that whole library and add it to a playlist. As you guys can see, I have an internal medicine playlist created, and then basically all of those videos are done. So then if I go into my playlist section, I'll go ahead and see an internal medicine playlist. I can click learn and essentially see all the topics that are relevant. Now, another way you can do this is basically create an internal medicine playlist. And as you're watching videos that are relevant, then you add them to your playlist individually. So then you'll have a playlist of all the videos you already watched and reviewed. And so then you can go back to them in case you're confused. So again, Picmonic does a great job, not only segmenting all of their content, but also all of the content that you choose specifically to watch for the rotation. Now, last but not least, has to do a great job of quizzing you. And for your clinical rotations, not only does it have to quiz you, but it has to do it on a very timely basis. You know, obviously you're gonna have very long hours on things like surgery and internal medicine, and you don't want something that's gonna be very lengthy. You just want to have something that's easy to use can potentially create a schedule for you and also be able to quiz you on everything you've learned thus far. And again, Picmonic does a really good job of this. In fact, what you can do is if you go into your home dashboard, you can actually create a study schedule. So here I kind of created a sample one for my pediatrics rotation, but I'll do one just for you guys. So as you guys can see, you can select when your test date is. So in this example, let's just say it's gonna be the end of the year because all of us have to get past 2020. Um, and then you can put, basically pick how many days a week you wanna study. So let's just say, you know, seven days a week, you wanna study four out of seven of them because you're a little bit more realistic on how you know productive you'll be. Next thing, you can then go into the same playlist and categories that we were seeing and either click on the body system, particularly that you're learning, or you can go into USMLE step two, which is what I would recommend. And if you're on your psychiatry rotation, then you can specifically click on the topics you've learned thus far or select all of them and it'll start quizzing you, you know, throughout your rotation. So let's just select all of them for the psychiatry rotation. We're gonna click continue. And then I'm gonna say the psychiatry shelf exam. And one thing that uh, we probably missed right here, so it says I have 18 days to study till now, 
Um, and that means I have to study basically for about an hour a day, which is completely realistic. So not only does an hour a day include watching the videos, but also telling me that I need to rewatch the videos and do the quizzes. And to also give you a little bit more control in your study schedule, you can basically choose the order that you want to start studying with topics. Maybe you're really weak in antidepressants, I know I was, or maybe you're learning about antipsychotics currently on your rotation, you wanna make sure you cover those first. Um, and so it just gives you a lot of granular kind of control over how you do your study schedule. But once it's all done, then you'll come into your dashboard and you'll have your psychiatry shelf exam. I'll tell you how many days you have left as well as the ability to just say, let's start learning. And it's going to show you the first kind of video that's relevant for that day. And you can go ahead and watch and listen to the story. And then once you're done, you can also go ahead and quiz yourself on the different elements of the story. So as you guys can see, not only does Picmonic do a great job of being able to quiz you, but also it creates a very easy kind of study schedule that you can stick to on a daily basis. And again, you're not over committing or under committing, you know kind of what you need to do on a daily basis. And so if you are somebody who's looking for a more engaging resource for your clinical rotations, and you're tired of reading text, or you know, watching countless videos, and that's pretty much it, or uh, potentially just doing question banks, which also is extremely draining, then Picmonic may be a resource you guys consider checking out. And so if you guys are interested in checking out Picmonic, the gracious team there at Picmonic have nicely given us a discount link, which will be linked down below here in the description. And if you're also interested in the different ways that Picmonic can help you, that includes things like step one, step two, your first and second year medical student, I'll link down below our Picmonic playlist that we have going on. Um, so hopefully some of those videos will also help you guys out. In case you're still on the fence of whether or not you want to give Picmonic a try, if you do end up using the link down below, just send me an email at the mdjourney.com at gmail.com and I'll go ahead and send you the master of the boards. It's basically a step one guide that I created from advice for myself as well as other medical students that I've worked with on how they've gotten a 250 or above on their USMLE step one. That's basically gonna be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Now, if you are wanting even more step-by-step -step advice to help you on your medical journey, but again, do it with less stress, then definitely consider checking out the MedElite Academy, which is a platform completely catered specifically for those that are med school, pre-med, or even in residency and giving you both courses, guides, you know, community, as well as Q and A opportunities there's so much there and if you guys are interested there'll be a link down below where you can get the whole platform a try for a week for just for a dollar but with that being said guys as always thank you so much for making it to the end of the video thank you for your support now if you made it to the end of the video and you haven't given a like make sure you do so if you haven't been a part of the community make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're putting out two videos two episodes just like this on a weekly basis and if there's a specific topic or question you have that you want me to cover in future episodes go ahead and drop it in the comment section down below but with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you for being a part of my journey Journey. Hopefully I've been a little help to you on yours and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.